Hi everyone, it's Rachel and in this polymer clay tutorial I'll be showing you how to make one of my chubby dino designs into a bat for Halloween. So let's get started. Begin by taking the colour of polymer clay that you would like your chubby dino to be. The colour that I have gone for is this muted periwinkle colour. To shape the body you want to start off by rolling your clay into a ball and then using your fingers to pinch one part of the clay into a small point and this is going to become the tail. This part can take a bit of time in terms of smoothing out the clay so just keep working on it until you're happy with it. Next up we're going to create the face, so add two indents where you would like the eyes to go and then place in two balls of black polymer clay. For the mouth in the centre we are going to connect two small U shapes of black clay together and then also add two balls of pink clay on either side of the eyes for the cheeks. We will also be adding some little vampire bat teeth but I'm going to go back in later and add those details. So here I'm rolling out a darker coloured clay which I have chosen for the dinosaur's spikes. I cut off five pieces in different sizes and then I rolled each of these into a ball. To create the shape of the spike I like to flatten this clay between my fingers and then pinch it into a diamond shape before trimming off the very bottom part so that I have a flat surface to work with. Next you can take your liquid clay like I have here, I'm using Sculpey Bacon Bond and I'm applying it onto my dino's body where I plan to place the spikes and then I'm just simply arranging the spikes onto the body and the liquid clay helps keep these in place and nice and strong after baking. I then prepared some little legs or feet for my dino and then I just added these to the bottom of the body. So this is what my chubby dino currently looks like at this point. Now we need to go ahead and Halloweenify it by adding some of those details. So you can see that I have created some ears by adding a pink piece of clay to the body colour and then trimming the diamond shape in half so that I'm left with two triangles. I'm then just positioning the ears onto the charm and blending the clay down. Here is where I'm going to add the little vampire bat teeth. So I've got a very small piece of white clay which I'm rolling on my work surface and then I'm just trimming off the very ends and positioning these onto the face. Now it's time to move on to making some little wings for our bat. So here I'm rolling out a thin teardrop and trimming off the thicker side. You'll then want to choose a colour of clay that you want the inside part of your wings to be and I have chosen this lilac colour and then just position this clay on either side. I used a round cutter to trim off the bottom section and then finally I added a larger piece which I wrapped over the top to finish off the wing. You can then very carefully position these onto your dino bat and blend them on. You may also like to use some wire in the centre for extra strength if you are planning to use this as an actual charm. At this point I went ahead and I added an eye pin and then it was time to bake it in my oven according to my package's instructions. After baking I secured the eye pin with some super glue and I also added a coat of resin as my glaze to make it nice and shiny although I seem to have lost that footage. So anyway here is the final product. I had a a lot of fun taking one of my existing characters and changing it slightly to make the style suit the holiday theme. If you enjoyed this tutorial please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for lots more crafty videos and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!